Okay, so here's my 180SX. I had it for a little while now and I wanted to do an update video on one of the things that I changed and did to it since I had it. The interior is basically the same on it. I pretty much just cleaned it up and I got a radio, Kenwood Exelon, I think, with a Bluetooth. And I put a JBL door speakers in and I kill matted the doors in both doors and in the back. I put JBLs in the back too. Back seat back in it and the quarter plastic. The back of the car isn't too much different. Got new lift struts on the hatch. Put the, uh, put the carpet up here. There was a little bit of service rust starting here. I fixed that and just cleaned it up a lot. I gotta put the carpet under the battery box one day. Sometime I'm gonna do that. And then I'm gonna put the rear carpet in. I have it, or the rear uh, trim, whatever you wanna call it, the panels back here. The rubber OEM seal and took out all them and resealed them because they didn't really have much on them and it was getting fumey in the car. Hatch, I adjusted that so it shuts and stuff better. But I'm gonna do floor mats yet, yeah, probably them imperial ones. And I'm gonna get rid of the harness bar and do a four point auto power bolt in race cage or whatever for the back. It's like a four point bolt in, and then I'll be able to put the B pillar plastic back on because I can get rid of this harness bar and everything. It has digital climate control, and that'll all work once I do this. We'll pull the dash and stuff thinking about getting rid of them gauges but I haven't figured out a solution yet to fix the three holes in the I did the catch can and new hoses to that circuit sports I think catch can and that seems to be working pretty good right now haven't had any issues with it it really doesn't have any blow by um, I put an OEM water pump in it and uh, Nismo thermostat and I started replacing all the clamps here with these T-bolt clamps. The lighting in here is not good, but with them T-bolt clamps right there, all the intercooler piping clamps I'm gonna do with that. I got rid of the oil. It was a relocation kit for the oil filter that was up here, and it had up here, it had a oil cooler. I got rid of all that. Just went back to a factory piece there. I have a Gretti oil cooler for it, or I mean oil relocation kit for it, which I might put on it yet. New 300ZX fuel filter, brand new fuel lines, all of them up here in the motor compartment, brand new. I wanna do uh, new ones in the back yet, the two back by the pump that come down to the hard lines, them rubber ones, I wanna redo those yet. I did vibrant vacuum hoses here and everywhere that has a vacuum hose, did those new, put this hose on right here that was uh getting a little brittle and hard it was old the new pcv valve lem one in there in the valve cover tomy socks on the master cylinders uh gk tech stopper for the master cylinder just uh helps with the firewall flexing and it does make the brake pedal feel a little bit better i think Phase 2 motor trend, I think they are P2M, Super V belts on both of them, or all three, I mean. Put the skid plate back on down there. Today I just put these KTS reinforced tie rods and roll center tie rod ends set for Sylvia S13 and S15. 
I got them off eBay. They're like $257.99 for the set, inner and outers and everything. And they're way nicer than the stock ones. I'm about to get it aligned tomorrow. I did gold bolts here in the valve cover and painted that coil pack cover metallic black. You can't really tell, but it's metallic black. It just looks dusty, but it is. But it has, it's metallic black. Changed a little a couple times now with Motul 10W40. I've been running in it. Or RSRRs, they're uh, Federals. Not too many people run these anymore, but they're really the cheapest sticky tire you can buy that I can find. So I'm running them on it. And just like little stuff like right here, that little bit of surface rust there, I wanna pull those off and paint them. And there's a little spot down there that has some paint chipped off that I wanted to sand down and paint that too. I have white PR15 and I've been doing that on any little spot that I do on this thing to keep it not having any rust at all. This thing's like rust free, I'm trying to keep it that way. It has a few little spots like I said, but uh, that's basically it under the hood. I did a new little grommet on there and a new hood props thing and stuff like that. Just little things like that. Painted the wiper arms, I think they're like matte satin black. I have to get the hood repainted. It's from the fire. It melted the paint that bubbled up. But I'm going to get the hood repainted inside and out. And I just put these new tires on the back, but they're pretty much getting about half worn out already. They're just some like the cheapest basically tires, on, or not eBay, Amazon. They're some Henna Forcium Henna 245 4017.
thinking about just getting that Tommy one because it is like 600 bucks, but this one I have on here is not baffled, I think, and for all their girls and stuff, that can starve it of oil, and that's not good. So I'm thinking about possibly getting this oil pan off of here and selling it, even if I get like 150 bucks or something for it, put it towards the baffled one because I think a baffled one would definitely be the way to go with getting it sideways, drifting it, and all their crawls and stuff. I'll do a first gear launching it right here and see how it is. But you'll see shifting to second takes like an half of an eternity. like it was great and it's like not the greatest 